Hello, I'm Peter from Peter of Media. Today we are going to look at a cost-effective RF unit combination that can be used in small broadcast and event productions. In full broadcast productions, we've had wireless transmission devices available for probably 20 odd years. These use the license frequency bands that are really generally unavailable to uh, event or smaller uh, sports production type people due to their prohibitive costs and the amount of regulation involved. However, with the 5 gigahertz band, the band that's generally used for uh, Wi-Fi applications, uh, some manufacturers have come out with some quite good devices that enable uh, transmission distances uh, over a complete sports field or an event hall or something similar like that. The device we use today is the Syscom 421 by Hollyland. It's a four transmitter to one receiver unit and is really quite useful in uh, event applications where you require perhaps uh, a portable camera and uh, some PTZ uh, cameras around uh, a concert or around an, a, an event. Up until now, one of the problems has been when you've used these five gigahertz uh, units is that you've only got transmission from the transmitter to the receiver. There is no back channel allowing you to do CCU control or PTZ control over remote cameras. Uh, to that extent, we've gone and sourced a solution that makes this possible using the Syscom 421's built-in Ethernet connection, uh, which gives you a back channel. Now, the Syscom 421 also has the ability to use RS 422 and 485 connections back to each individual transmitter. Let's look at how we've done CCU control to what is typically a ENG camera um, of the type. We're using a 350 Sony, but you can use any other Sony type ENG camera that has the ubiquitous 8-pin connection um, for remote control. So we need to turn both the transmitter and the receiver on and wait for it to boot up. At the same time, I'm going to turn the camera on and that will deliver power to a Wico C2 adapter unit that has the ability to do camera tally and CCU remote control. I think these are the most important things when we're doing an event production so that we can colour match our RF camera to our wired cameras. Without CCU control, you really can't do a truly professional broadcast type production in a small scale factor. On this side, I have a standard Sony CCU. This is the uh, 750 remote panel, but you can use any type of remote panel that has a Sony legacy connector on the, uh, on the bottom. I'm also using a small hub which supplies PoE power to the Wico device, the Ethernet device. And now I've got pictures from the camera. I've got interconnection with the Ethernet and I've got interconnection on the other side from the, the transmitter's Ethernet connection 
into the Wico box. I've also got here a tally connector to a small tally box um, so that we can get a tally light output. And we should get an orange flashing light to tell us that that's working. And at the same time, the Sony connection is also made to the other Wico uh, on the receive end. And our panel lights up and is ready for, let me turn that off, and is ready for iris control. There you can see the iris control, as well as painting. And of course you can see that the, the whole system is functioning because I can turn the bars on on the camera. Um, I now, I also have on this side a tally wire set up. This would go to the Vision Mixer's tally connections and when I push the tally or connect the Vision Mixer to the, the camera to line, you will get a red light. What I've done on, on this side of things is simply put the, um, a small tally lead um, which I've put into the viewfinder. The Wico system should be able to run uh, a, the, the call light onto the camera but I haven't been able to find uh, a way of doing it. For ease of use I've simply made a small tally adapter interface which gives you tally on top of the camera on my small little tally box and the remote lead that I can stick into the viewfinder. So it depends whether you're using this, this system on a steady cam, in which case you, you just want an external tally operating or whether you're using it um, handheld or on a tripod with an eyepiece, in which case just put the tally in through the viewfinder and the cameraman can, can see when the director cuts. I think tallies are very important, especially for sports productions, because you cut pictures so fast that you don't really have time to talk to the cameraman. Now, which leads us to the other thing. This system does not have a talkback built into it, um, because I think most uh, small sports production or event productions use external radio talkback systems anyway and uh, that would overcomplicate things when you've already got a talkback system at an event, for example, for the floor manager or assistant producer and so forth. We may as well just give the portable cameraman a, uh, a radio and a headset, single-sided headset. So that's basically the whole system. It's working, it's easily set up, and it's a cost, very cost-effective method of doing um, a wireless solution. Now, of course, with a wireless solution, there is always a delay in, in, the, in the system. And let me just expose that a little bit better. And that delay you can probably work out from my hand clap. I think it's in the order of uh, a few frames, um, which you have to take into consideration when you do the rest of your production with, with audio delays. Um, I would always recommend you run the uh, a hand mic audio, if you're doing interviews on, on a wireless camera, through the wireless system. That way you'll keep your audio uh, running in sync. But if you can't do that you're in the, and you're working a, uh, um, a radio mic type system, you'll need to run a delay for recording the RF camera. So this is quite, quite easy as you can see. There's only a few cables, they fit together. You can easily use the camera in a portable situation and you've got 
full remote control over the camera. This system is available to rent from Peter Herb Media and we can also give you some assistance uh, should you require it uh, if it's your first time that you're using a, an RS system with CCU control. Please don't hesitate to send me an email if you want further information um, or assistance.